What's up guys, Alex here and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at a pair of $70 Bluetooth headphones and finding out if they're better than your $160 AirPods. Let's get right to it. Welcome back guys. So today we're looking at a pair of headphones from a company called Treblab. Now these are the X5s and huge shout out to them for sending them to me for my honest thoughts and opinions. They did send them to me, but my thoughts are my own. So want to make that clear and be ahead of that at the front of this video, but let's talk about them. So these guys are $70 on Amazon right now. And I bought these AirPods for about $160. Now there are definitely some differences and in my opinion, these guys actually have some real advantages and I want to let you know what they are when you're making your purchasing decisions. So starting off, let's talk about some of the features of these guys. Now it comes in this case and the case just for comparison is pretty close. So as you can see, it's just about the same width and if you hold them side by side with each other, uh, they're just a little bit bigger. You can kind of fit one inside of the other, uh, but overall they're still plenty pocketable and in my opinion, you could easily use these guys in your pocket, in your bag. They're not going to take up a ton of space. So I love the size of the case for this thing. So inside of it, it's not quite as nice. There's no magnets, but you've got the headphones themselves. Now here's something I found that was super funny. On the right side, there is the left bud and on the left side is the right bud. But other than that, you have just a perfect little spot for these guys. So it's important to note that when you have these guys in here, it is not magnetic. So when you put it in, you have to kind of press hard on each side and make sure that they're fully secured in there. And once they do, the bottom will start to blink just like that. And that'll let you know that they're charging up. Now talking about the headphones themselves, these guys come with three pairs of silicone ear tips and three different sizes of these little wing tips. And also they come with some memory foam style like foam tips as well, if you're more into that. But they have those three different sizes to make sure no matter what ear size you have, these things will fit. Now if you hold them up side by side, you can totally tell that the size is pretty similar, but I've also noticed that when I put them in my ears, they feel a little bit different. So now that I've got them in my ears, you can see side by side what they look like. These are the AirPods and these are the Treblag X5s. I think these look a lot bigger for some reason. When I held them up side by side, they don't feel like they're that much bigger, but in my ears, they feel quite a bit bigger for some reason. Now something else that's important to note about these with the little wing tips in these guys, they're not gonna come out of my ears. I've gone running with them and they are solid. If I shake my head, these guys aren't going out. If I'm running or bouncing, they're not moving on me. When I go to the gym and I wear my AirPods, they move and I constantly have to keep pushing them in my ear because I'm sweaty, I'm running, there's a lot of bouncing that happens. And while they stay in my ears pretty good, I feel way more secure, especially with the ear fin on these guys. The other thing to keep in mind is that with AirPods, you have something that isn't completely sound isolating. When you put these in, they're not completely blocking out any kind of noise, so you can still hear your surroundings a lot. But with these guys, you have those silicone tipped earbuds that go all the way into your ear, and that makes it so it's a lot harder to hear your surroundings, which can be a positive or a negative depending on what you're looking for. Now speaking about working out with these things, something that these guys have that the AirPods do not have is some kind of sweat slash water resistance rating. These are gonna make you have so much more trust in your headphones not breaking. And even if they did, at least they're half the cost, less than half the cost of something like those AirPods. All right, now you're gonna notice one of my favorite features on these guys is that on the right earbud you have volume controls. The left earbud also has some pretty sweet stuff and that you can skip your track and go back to the other track just from your headphones. I wish Apple had this. Now another thing that is important to note about these guys is that they've worked with both Siri and with Google Assistant. I've tried it, it works great, no problems here. Now I can't talk about headphones without talking about sound. For my opinion, I feel like these guys have a lot more bass and that's probably due to that silicone tip, but that it lacks a little bit of the clarity that the AirPods have. But overall, after listening to these guys, I don't have any complaints on the music. I felt like they were really good, especially for the price point. All right, so these guys aren't perfect though. So let's talk about some things that I wish were a little bit better. So the first thing is that this right ear, it's the master control headphone. And that means that when you take phone calls, it's the only headphone that works. Also, my wife didn't feel like the quality of the call was super great, but overall it's still going to work in a pinch. And if you don't mind just having one ear have the phone call, it's not going to bug you. 
just bothered me a little bit. So in conclusion, are these guys better than your $160 AirPods? In my opinion, they're pretty dang close. And that's what's really important here. You're looking at a product that's $70. The case size is super compact. The quality of the sound is really good. The ear tips feel great. They're super comfortable. I'm not gonna worry about breaking these guys. If there's a little bit of rain outside, they're easy to pack away. And these guys have the convenience on lock. There's nothing that's gonna beat them. If you have an Apple device, opening these things up, having them instantly pair, it's gonna beat any other experience out there. So it really comes down to what's most important to you. If you have the finances and you wanna be able to hear your ambient surroundings, absolutely, go with the AirPods. They're great. People have loved them for a reason. They're fantastic and their convenience is completely unmatched. But if you're looking to save some money and you also want some extra convenient features like sweat proof, like having some volume and some music controls on the sides of your device, these things are incredible. And for the price, you really can't beat them. I think they're a must buy at this price point. Anyway guys, that just about wraps up this review. What did you think? Are these guys worth it? Are they an absolute skip for you? What are your favorite pair of headphones? Leave them down in the description below. You guys know I love talking to you guys. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Share if you have some friends who are in need of a good pair of headphones that aren't gonna break the bank like those AirPods will. And make sure you follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at A-C-D-E-B-A-C-A. -A. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.